Oh, yes, indeed. And uh, I informed the hospital staff that I was more than capable of ambulating out of the hospital under my own power. Well, they're not going to let you out of here unless you're in the wheelchair. Yes, apparently so. Oh, uh, did you hear the good news? Uh, Max Misto was released today. Her health is greatly improving, and I, I intend to give her recovery my utmost care and attention. No, I'll be right back with some uh, release papers. Oh, great. I, I need your help with something. Why? Well, I'm at your service. Well, Christina's boyfriend, Kiefer. You know, he died last night. Yes, hit and run. The hospital was buzzing about it. Yeah, well, I think Alexis might know more than she's saying. Did anyone say when Kiefer's funeral will be? So, Kiefer was the one who'd been being Christina, not Ethan. And he did it again last night. When Alexis brought Christina to the hospital, she finally ID'd Kiefer. Um, why would Christina lie? To protect Kiefer. I mean, she didn't want Sonny to kill him. Well, I, I guess that's understandable, that fear of Mr. Sherpin. Why not share that same concern for Ethan's life and Lynn? Well, because I think uh, Sonny and Luke are longtime friends, and I bet Christina thought that would be enough for Sonny not to kill Ethan. Now the battering boyfriend is dead. Kiefer was found on the side of the road less than an hour after Christina admitted the truth. Well, so then her fears were warranted? Vengeance was exacted on Mr. Sir's orders, perhaps... With Stone Cold behind the wheel? Did, no, no, I didn't do anything. And neither did Sonny, but Alexis is the only person who has not suspected me of running Kiefer down. And that's unusual. Usually Alexis is first in line to suspect you of mayhem. Exactly. That's why I want you to start investigating Alexis Davis as soon as we get home. I came home and I heard yelling. Jack marvels at the technological advances made in modern medicine. Uh, looks like you got a handle on that thing. I'd like to submit it as an Olympic event. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So why don't we park this thing and you can get to work. Oh. Where would Stone Cold like to start? Uh, let's start. We know that Kiefer left Alexis' house at the lake headed west toward downtown. They found Kiefer's uh, SUV on Cherry a mile and a half north of Vista. What was he run off the road? Well, Sam said it looked like he slipped off the road and kind of got stuck. And that's probably when he started to walk in about a half mile. That's when he got hit. You know what? There's a chance that he would actually try to get the car back on the road before he got on foot. So why don't you check his cell phone record to see if he called anybody for help? I, I think first Samantha's input might be most useful to yeah, us. Yeah, you know, but Sam's got a lot on her mind. I don't want to burn her right now. It is most generous of Stone. Oh, welcome home, Spinelli. Hey. Hey. Uh -huh. Whoa, what kind of generous thing is Jason Dunphy? you now? I do. What's that thing called anyway? A non mechanized portable ambulatory device. Oh. It's a scooter. A scooter. It's well, a really nice scooter. I like it too. Maxie was released from the hospital? Uh, yes, and I will ambulate over to see her as soon as I provide Stone Cold with his cable television bill. Oh, that's. How's, nice. uh, how's Christina? Oh, well, I really don't know what to do for her anymore. I don't know, Jason. She's heartbroken that her boyfriend's gone. She's mourning like any girl would, and I just want to bite my tongue because all I can think about is how he beat her. And get this, she admitted that he didn't hit her not once or twice, but he did it on a regular basis. I don't understand how one can profess love to another and then abuse them. It's incomprehensible. Yeah, well, guess what? On top of it, she feels responsible for his death. She thinks that the only reason why he was on the road that night was because of her. Thank God Kiefer did not die on her Sunday's orders because I don't know how Christina would be able to handle it if she thought her boyfriend was dead because of her family. I have to go to the hospital to see my little sister. Okay, I hope Christina feels better. Yeah, me too. It's good to have you back, Spinelli. I miss you. Okay. Be careful. I will. It is my profound hope that your suspicions are wrong and Alexis has nothing to do with Kiefer's death. Well, Jack was searching for security footage, but you know, perhaps it would be better to let the matter drop. I mean, young Christina has suffered greatly. It would do more damage to prove her mother guilty. Oh, this might be something. What's the address? Uh, 1530 Cherry Lane. Uh, observe, that appears to be Kiefer walking along the roadside. Let me to fast forward, and there, a light-colored hybrid. I mean, nothing is conclusive. Uh, okay, hold on. Freeze it. Then back it up. Okay, now I want you to roll forward one frame at a time. Go ahead. I'm trying to see who the driver is. Stop. 
Jackal fears that's Alexis Davis. 